Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming emulation tech and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryujinx, and Ryujinx has just released their progress report. Now, we're just going over this report at a high level. It's very well written, there's a ton of detail in it, and I do recommend checking it out. If you wanted to see it in more detail, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. The very first thing in this report is a pretty big performance improvement for Super Mario Sunshine. It was a game that was causing a lot of headache. When Mortal Kombat 1 was released, it caused a bit of a headache, and the Ryujing's team were able to increase performance by 46%. R-Type Final 2 saw a 750% performance improvement from 8 FPS up to 60 FPS. For those of you on Mac OS, specifically with M1 and M2 chipsets, games like Persona 5 Strikers, Bravely Default, and Life is Strange True Colors are now playable for more than a couple of minutes. And on top of that, Ryujing has a number of bug fixes and optimizations. Ryujing just keeps chugging along here. Hat tips to the developers for another great month. Moving on, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, but switching over to Yuzu, and this is a tweet from Yuzu today. We've heard rumors online that people are attempting to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder in Yuzu. We wanted to take the opportunity to clarify that we do not provide support for games pre-release. The Yuzu project is against piracy, which goes for Super Mario Bros. Wonder, as much as other games. And this is important. Discussions about trying to get Super Mario Bros. Wonder working on Yuzu and attempts to play or share pirated pre-release copies of the game will result in accounts being banned from our communities. In my opinion here, this is just common sense. At the time of filming, Super Mario Bros. Wonder has not officially released. The only copies as far as I know that are floating out there are leaked and pirated copies. And the same goes with Sonic Superstars, which people are also trying to emulate. And speaking about Twitter, next up we're quickly talking about Twitter. And this is a statement from Twitter today. Starting today, they're testing a new program in New Zealand and the Philippines. New unverified accounts will be required to sign up for a $1 annual subscription to be able to post and interact with other posts. At this point in time, it's just a test and I've got no idea if it's going to roll out globally. There appear to be a bunch of people up in arms about this one, and while I'm not surprised to hear that, I'm also not defending Twitter when I say this. It's not affecting existing accounts. Just brand new accounts in two new areas, and it's a test. While I wouldn't be surprised to see this roll out globally and also to existing accounts, it's not there just yet. There's no point in worrying. But moving on and next up, we're talking about 86box. 86box is a low-level x86 emulator and it just got a brand new release. At the time of filming, version 4.0.1 is the latest update and we've got a pretty big change log here. It's the first update since August. At a high level here, there's a whole bunch of bug fixes, optimizations, and some brand new features. For example, they added the 4x3 integer scale option for full screen mode, and they increased the maximum CD-ROM drive count to 8. Next up, we're quickly talking about the newly announced Analog 3D, which we talked about yesterday. Anyways, there was a very interesting interview posted, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. In this interview, we learn more about the Analog 64, for example, the 4MB expansion pack being enabled controller attachments actually working, provided you're using an original N64 controller and have it plugged into the system, and games will run at their native speed. Now, this statement is interesting. Apparently here, Analog suggests that Nintendo can't do much better with N64 software on an emulation front, even if they made an N64 classic. They even go on to say here, the nature of how N64 software emulation functions with even the most powerful components, it isn't possible. It will inevitably result in a subpar experience. I find that whole statement amusing because in terms of emulation, I don't want to say Nintendo sets the bar low, but I don't think a lot of people are going to dispute that. Next up, we're talking about VirtualBox, and VirtualBox has just released version 7.0.12. In this release, they've added in initial support for Linux kernel 6.5 and 6.6. .6. 
if you wanted to check out the entire change log, I'll drop a link in the description below. Moving on, and we're quickly talking about NVIDIA drivers on Linux, and they just released beta drivers 545.23.06. Although this is just a beta driver, there are some interesting things here. They updated the NVIDIA installer to allow installing the driver while an existing NVIDIA driver is already loaded. And they added support for virtual reality displays, such as the Steam VR platform, on Wayland. Next up, we're quickly talking about the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, and if you're a fan of shmups, there's a brand new free demo you may be interested in. If you are interested in this one, I'll drop a link to it in the description below and feel free to check it out. The game is called ZPF, or ZPF, or Zip or subscribe to Mr. Sujano. And last up here, we're quickly talking about Skyrim and Solitude. And if you wanted to see Solitude rendered in Unreal Engine 5 looking absolutely fantastic, I'll drop a link to this YouTube video in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. It gives a real nice perspective of the game. On top of that, they've also got videos for Whiterun and Dawnstar, although all of these videos are cinematic videos and not mods, but still pretty cool to watch. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.